This ivory carved figure was made by Johann Kunrad Altorf. Altorf was born in The Hague in 1876. His father was a carpenter and it was thought that he would follow in his father's footsteps. When he was an apprentice to a furniture maker, his artistic qualities were quickly discovered. He went to art school where he followed lessons by O'Day and Le Comblé. After finishing art school, he worked for Leen van Tetterode in Amsterdam where he created architectonic sculptures. Some of these were designed by Mendes da Costa and Lambertus Zell. These would influence his own personal style. When he started to work for himself, he was quickly discovered by H.P. Bremer, who was very important in promoting Dutch arts and crafts in the early 20th century. He was introduced to Helene Krullemuller, who purchased some of his work, and today the Krullemuller Museum has a large collection of Altdorf's work. Bremer also encouraged Altdorf to collaborate with Chris Lanoy, which resulted in a series of figures, ceramic sculptures of animals. For his smaller figures, Altdorf liked to work in various materials. He worked in stone, ceramic, bronze and also in ivory. At first glance, Altdorf's sculptures appear very Art Deco in style, and indeed it was the period of Art Deco. But for Altdorf, his style was not just a fashion. He really tried to find the essence in his subjects. His favourite subjects were animals, monkeys and birds in particular. He created various versions of herons. Thanks to Mr. Pierre Terwen's research, we know that this figure was originally sold through Hank and Schreijon in Utrecht in 1920. It has been in the same family ever since, and this is the first time in 100 years that this figure is coming on the market again. This figure will be sold in our auction on September 11th. The estimate is seven to nine thousand euros.